on this case, what we'll notice is this patient needed an implant or has a missing tooth, would like to have an implant on tooth number five. Uh, but as we can see, the bone quality uh, isn't quite dense enough. It has the right height, it has the right thickness, but it just doesn't have the right bone quality. If we look at the different panes, the three different panes on the side, the top one shows that uh, looking kind of at a cross section, looking downward uh, on that site, or I guess upward, um, or at least that section, you can see that the bone just isn't really all that dense. Looking at the middle pane, uh, just clearly kind of going across that entire length of the implant, you can tell it's not right. And to confirm on the bottom pane, you can see that it has the um, color scale going from red to green, and that the red is more predominant than the green. So uh, even though this site would have been great because of the height and the width, because of the bone density, we decided not to do this case and instead referred this one out to the oral surgeon. Uh, hopefully this is helpful, and I think using cone beams uh, really help with placing implants in the right spot. All right, uh, thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next video.